Hello, in today's episode, I will bring you along to a full wedding day where you will get to see all the behind the scenes from the getting ready to the ceremony and the reception. You will get a unique perspective from the GoPro mounted on my shoulder. Watch and listen to all the action that takes place. Featuring will be the Tamron 17 to 70 f2.8. I will explain in details why this lens is the do it all lens for any wedding photographer who is searching for a lens that can excel in both photography and videography. By the end of this video, you will know whether this is the lens for you or not. Let's roll. Maybe I could get some pictures of your detail, um, like your garter, your, yeah, um, your, all the... Yeah, Tash! I'm gonna go right now. Thank you. Uh, your, your accessories. Yeah, sorry. No worries, no, no stress. Um, do we really need those? It's up to you. If you if there's no, if it's gonna add stress, like, I'll, I'll skip. Well, no, it's not gonna add stress. Just, I, can, uh, I can do it close up. The dress up. you need yeah. and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, the dress is important. I mean, uh, sorry. No worries, no worries. Window, eh? Yeah, but the, the dress, curtains. your half of it will be uh, not showing, and I don't know that that little bar will hold it. Oh, you don't think yeah, so? Yeah, no. If you give it to me, I'm, I'm sure I'll find so. Yeah, you see, it's already half yeah. of it will be below the window. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll trust you with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll bring it back. You know, the veil is, uh, is in there as well? Yeah. Okay, uh, cool. Do you want jewelry? And yeah, sh jewelry, yeah. shoes, whatever you got. Don't be shy about moving furniture around. If it's gonna bring out the best possible image, then do it. Uh, very rarely will anybody judge you or uh, or yell at you for moving one piece of furniture. So as long as you put it back where it belongs, I find that the best detail shots are taking lar uh, next to a large window or a patio door. I find that natural light um, brings out the best possible quality. Um, I could use a flash. Um, I would prefer not to, especially so early in the day. Um, I don't think that details look great when they're subject to uh, flash. Um, I find that natural lighting and then boosting the exposure in, in post uh, brings out, I believe, the, the, the nicest pictures possible. On to the dress. Now, um, hanging a dress is probably the most difficult part of doing detail shots, uh, simply because the different uh, different dresses come with different weight and try and hang them um, can be a difficult thing. Um, but with this specific dress, um, it was light enough that uh, it wasn't bending the curtain rod. And I found that this spot was perfect because we had a large bay window. Now, as you are taking picture of details, ensure to remove these types of, um, you know, distractions. So that I believe is the current rod, um, I don't know what you call that, stick. Uh, take those out simply because they'll remove work on the back end when you're doing editing. Um, and will speed up your post-processing. Try to get as many angles as you possibly can of the dress. Um, even as far as taking some really close-ups, you really want to show um, in the pictures um, all of the little details. Some dresses are super intricate um, and may feature little things that are hidden. And if you take a wide shot, they may not be seen. So that's why I would suggest, you know, getting as close as possible to the dress um, in that, with that regard. Okay, so I left all your, all your stuff here. You. I put it, most of it all yeah, back in the box. And, and then, uh, yeah. Well, when you're getting your dress on, We'll do the earring. I guess these ones are a bit difficult, so yeah. we'll go ahead and do it. But I'm the other ones, um, I'd like to take a picture of you putting them on. Okay, That's I think it. I was gonna get my maid of honor to put sure. my ones, or sure. I was gonna have them on and have her cut for 10. Yeah, yeah, we could do that, yeah. Because then it makes for weird photos if they're actually cut. 
And can I have you guys take one step back if possible, yeah. just so I can get you guys all in the frame? One more, one more step. All right, beautiful. Look this way. <laughs> You're fine. Beautiful. Hold it there. One smile. If I can have you guys look at each other. Give me one laugh. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's get your fish in. Yeah, so you wanted to do uh, the back of the dresses? Yeah, we'll get yeah. All right, yeah. Can I have you in the middle, uh, Sarah? Yeah. Beautiful. And I definitely keep trying to get in the middle. <laughs> oh, this is going to be Yeah, uh, can I have you just pivot? To the left, all, this like, way, like, right here. There you go. So I could see you. Mom, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. This moment I actually have the Tamron lens um, on a monopod. I will be using it to do uh, to capture a oh, video clip to start. Uh, of the groom um, getting his boutonniere installed by the best man. Um, and I'm actually shooting with the Fujifilm 56 <laughs> f1.2 on my uh, second body. I'll, I'll admit the 85mm f1.2 is I would say arguably there, my favorite we'll lens. Um, I think it takes Beauty. the yeah. best pictures of so all my so lenses, beautiful. but oh, it is limited in when you can use it because it's such a tight lens um, and it is very slow in auto focusing. So you may get some of the best pictures you possibly can get, but you'll miss 50 to 60% of them. So uh, choose your lens wisely. So I'm just going to have you just fiddle with your shoes again. All right. Okay, so now we're on to the um, detail shots of the venue um, I have a little bit of time to uh, get some some pictures um, of the reception hall uh, while the bridal party is getting ready um, you don't always get these opportunities so when they're available make sure that you get them because it's very rarely that the, the the venue itself will be fully decorated and as well as empty um, I was lucky that at the moment only the DJ is um, in the room and is setting up in a corner and wasn't disturbing any, anything at all. Uh, but these moments are, 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 are hard to get, um, especially if you're not um, you know, scheduled to come to the wedding early enough in the day. Uh, but lucky enough, the schedule worked out perfectly for this particular um, wedding. So again, I'd suggest taking as many detail shots as possible. Um, your bride and, and groom will uh, will thank you for it later. So the bride is walking down the aisle and the best vantage point to uh, be will be directly across from the groom because that's where um, you'll be able to catch him in his fields as well as you'll have the best possible spot to um, capture emotional images uh, from the, uh, the immediate family uh, sitting in the front row. Um, and then I uh, highly recommend that you move to the back um, as quickly as possible as to not uh, bring too much attention to yourself 
and this is when I will typically switch to my 50 to 140 telephoto lens. So I quickly move to the back because I know that the first kiss is coming and I put my camera on burst mode um, that way I can get uh, as many pictures as I possibly can of this key moment it comes so quickly and uh, you know at least I'll know I'll have a couple in, uh, in, in, in sharp focus so this is the only time of the day that I will put the camera in burst mode and I know for sure that I'll have at least a couple of really cool pictures. Portfolio worthy pictures at that. We're now on to the family formal photos and I would argue that this is the most stressful part of the day because you're gonna likely be coordinating a large group of people um, and for this particular wedding uh, I'll actually be photographing the entire uh, wedding party um, so upwards of uh, 60 to 70 people and uh, trying to get everyone to cooperate right, is so uh, take some for, skills uh, people to get out of uh, but the picture kind, luckily Beautiful. enough this group was very cooperative right, so it wasn't overly stressful uh, but mind you that when you're dealing with such a large crowd um, you you kind of have to take control um, to make things quick and to get him back in the reception room. Now, as you can see, I'm far back as I can um, with my 17 to 70 lens and it's just not tight, uh, unfortunately wide enough to get everyone in the shot. So I'm gonna switch to All my right, drone um, because that's the only way that I can get everyone in the frame. Otherwise, uh, All right, people give on the me edges one will be cut off. Like, woo! All right, beautiful. All right. All right. So don't be scared. I'm going to fly over your heads. Um, apologies in advance if I hit somebody. What, what, what we'll do is eventually we'll dance as the group so that mom will eventually be beside the... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just stand right here. So what you're going to do is you're not going to move the whole time and we're going to set your dress in a very, very pretty way. You're doing a great job as the maid of honor, Sam. Yeah, thank you. Uh, beautiful. All right, everyone. For 10 seconds, I'm going to have you look this way. If sunglasses can be removed if possible so I can see you better. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to angle myself this way in case because of that post. So beautiful. And I can I have you close that gap a little bit. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, everyone look this way. So can can you face straight at me yeah. with your bouquet, yeah, two Jeff. hands? Beautiful. Name? Try to even out the lo the, the bouquet. So you say your bouquet is kind of low. Like and I have you bring it up. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And then can I have you I slide a little bit to the left? So if you can slide a little bit more. Beautiful. Here you go. All right, beauty. Ah, damn sun. Now you're in the sun. That's okay. You should be all right. Yeah, we'll try it out, and if not, we'll just. We're going to have to slide everybody a little bit to the left, but then there was the post. Stay there. We'll be all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, we have to move because he's in the sun and then the post. So we got to find like, slide a little bit. Beautiful. Beauty. So can I have you guys close the gaps between? So touching, but no squeezing. Beautiful. Perfect. Beautiful. Smile. Hold that pose.
I got lots. Yeah, yeah, if you can just hold hands. So, yeah. So if you can, yeah, if you can switch hands. So, yeah, 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 if you don't mind. So Anthony, come this way. And then just grab, grab her hand, her right arm, her right hand. And then if you can just, yeah, don't worry about it. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Yeah, and then if you could just like walk this way and um, Anthony, you'll be basically like pulling her back like that. Like kind of her yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, beauty, go. Do you want to dip her just like this? Woo! Yeah, towards you. So tell us, yeah. So you'll 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 dip her the other way. Other way. There we go. Yeah. So she'll like flip, and there we go. This is a trust fall, Sarah. Yeah, go. We're now on to the last part of the day and at this point I prefer to switch to my prime lenses. I find that the fast f1.4 and f1.2 lenses do a better job capturing the best possible photos. However, I still use my Tamron on my third camera body um, and I f at that point it's just strictly a video lens. And there you have it folks. Remember there is no perfect lens but the Tamron comes pretty close. If you had any doubt whether you should buy this lens, I hope that this video helped tip the scale. This lens is certainly worth considering for your kit. As a matter of fact, I am thinking about buying another one. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes episode, please go watch my other behind the scenes video where I showcase the Fujifilm 23mm f1.4. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next one. Goodbye.